Last year, JPS Hospital in Fort Worth saw over 17,000 visits to its emergency room, specifically by the homeless in Tarrant County, which number about 1,900. Those visits didn't really rise, all of them, to the need of an ER visit. Still, each costs about $1,300. But tonight, only here on CBS 11, we're on the streets with a really unique team at JPS making house calls to the homeless, and it is making a difference. Jerry, how's it going? Uh, well, I'm doing well. Thank you. Doing okay? Yes, it's a house call. I was a little bit tired. I rested some, so I'm, feeling, I'm, I'm back up again. Aim directly at those who have no real place to call home. Which is a little bit low, man. It is. Four to five days a week, former Army yeah, combat that, medic that's, and that's physician's that's assistant Joel Hunt and his team at Care Connections Outreach at JPS hit the streets with bags filled with medical basics and a healthy dose of compassion. Any lightheadedness, dizziness? This version of street medicine at JPS was born back in 2014. It's a pretty simple concept. Basic health care out here can dramatically reduce visits to the emergency room. Reality for you guys is that you're either going to see them proactively with you coming out here or they're going to come into the ER. Correct. They're going to use resources in the ER, they're going to use beds in the ER, they're going to use medication, doctor's time, nurse's time, right? Right. Which is much more costly there than you coming out here. Absolutely. Okay. Just schedule him for yeah. Kyle. The homeless house call is much like an office visit. Are you having pain? Like, Notes are taken, oh, yeah. charts are kept, prescriptions are written, and there is accountability. Are you taking your blood pressure medicine? I've been taking it. Take it, you take it in the mornings? Uh, I take it whenever I remember it. And when needed? So it's a, it's a kind of a traumatic toenail avulsion. She had her, kind of knocked her toenail off, it sounds with like. An with, with an axe. <laughs> the street team takes care of scrapes, cuts, and small infections. And so something like this, it goes untreated. There's no access to health care. Seems incredibly simple. But it's something that could turn pretty ugly pretty quick. Pretty bad. That's the mission bad. to bring health care to the forgotten in Fort Worth is a passion for this team. The payback goes far deeper than the dollars that might be saved. So I get to bring a human touch. I get to look people in the eye that don't get looked in the eye very often. I have to imagine that this means a lot for you, for these yes. guys to, to come here to you. Tremendously. It is. It's a great, great deal of help for all of us, but yeah. we all need them. So this all goes so far beyond just the basis of medical care. Relationships are also being formed and built here that helps them lead to a part of the program that helps the homeless get ID cards. And Gilma, uh, that's a key component. The ID card can lead to eventually to housing, which is something they all desperately would love to have in many cases. Not all of them, but a lot of them would. So much more than just health care. Absolutely. And Doug, have they been able to measure whether this program is really working when it comes to actually saving money? We know how costly it can be to go to the ER. Oh, yeah. I mentioned at the top, 1300 a visit. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a regular visit into the ER. So the short answer is yes. So here's what they did. JPS last year tracked their highest users of the ER among the homeless. These are homeless who visit more than 50 times a year each. Joel and his team brought the street medicine to a number of those specific high users. And since then, among that group, Group, they have been able to measure a 33% drop in the amount of visits to the ER. So dollar for dollar, you know, going out and, and getting to these people in advance, it's a win for everyone and the hospital financially, the homeless out there. But the last piece of great news that I just got, literally I got a phone call 15 minutes before we went on the air. The woman you saw who had the toe injury, yes. they call her mama. She's been homeless for 20 years. I was told 15 minutes before air tonight, she got housing. That's wonderful news. That's wonderful. All comes together, doesn't wow. it? It's pretty incredible. Thank you.